Hi friends, it's Hannah and I'm coming to you from Atlanta and I just wanted to update you on my New Year's resolution and the progress I've been making. Um, so I made a New Year's resolution to be more social and to get out more. Um, and I had a really awesome time earlier this week at a group meeting called Lean In Atlanta. And it's based off of this book. Let me get it. It's based off of the book Lean In by Cheryl Sandberg. And Cheryl is the COO of Facebook. I think you guys all know what Facebook is because if you're watching this video, you're on Facebook right now. So she wrote this book about women, work, and the will to lead, and really addressing the, you know, the issues women face in the workplace, professionally, in life, and how we can change that um, by becoming leaders. And um, yeah, it's inspired a, a lean-in groups all around the country, and it's just composed of anyone who wants to support women, um, networking, and creating leaders. Um, it's a really good book. I personally believe that every woman should read this book. This is not a plug for Lean In. Cheryl didn't pay me. <laughs> but I really do think that everyone should read it, and I think that men should read it, too. It's just a book with the message for everybody. So I wanted to share with you, um, our assignment that we had at our meeting earlier this week. And um, just kind of share with you some thoughts on it. It was very interesting. Um, and um, I'm really glad that I, I went and that decides to be more social. So the assignment was for everyone. Everyone at the meeting had to bring a hard copy photo um, of them from their childhood. And we took turns passing the picture around and... Um, we answered four questions, and the first question was, why did you choose this photo? And the second question is, when was this photo taken and what was happening? And the third question is, what would you say to the kid in this photo? And the last question is, what would this child say to you? Well, first of all, I can tell you, I had a hard time finding a picture of myself when I was a kid because I just... I don't own pictures of myself as a kid. I don't think I'm at that stage of like weirdness. <laughs> um, although I might be getting close. Um, also, my parents just kind of like hoard all those pictures, and I don't think they trust me with um, family items. But I did find one picture of myself, and actually, I think I, it's a copy. So that's why I have it, not because it's an original. Um, and I just love this picture because I can remember the exact day and the exact moment, and I remember what I was wearing and what I was doing, and, um, let me just show it to you real quick. Um, here's the picture that I chose for the meeting. Um, you can see it up close. It's me, I think I'm about five or six. And we're still living in Minnesota, and it's probably Halloween, um, and I'm dressed up as Snow White in the dress, the Snow White dress that my mom made for me. Um, and I just remember always loving that dress. I felt so pretty, um, and it just made me happy whenever I was in that dress, and I would wear it all the time, even when it wasn't Halloween. Um... So I'm going to start off by telling you what this kid would say to me. She would say yes. She would say yes to anything that would make anyone else happy. Um, I was a people pleaser as a kid. Um, and pretty much through high school and most of college, I just I was a people pleaser. And I wanted to make other people happy at the expense of my own happiness. Um... And, you know, I really didn't think about myself. I always put others before myself, other people's feelings and 
what other people's thought what, what other people thought about me was more important than what I thought about me and um I would just you know if I could say something to this girl I would just tell her you know it's okay to be happy with yourself and you do, your job isn't to make everyone else happy your job is to be happy um and to make yourself happy and it's okay to say no if you're not happy so that's what I would tell this girl I would also tell this girl to be patient because I've always been this like super overachiever, um, very type A, at least like from nine to five. Um, and you know, I kind of see my career more as like a jungle gym, not so much as a straight or winding path. I, I see it as always moving from one bar to the next and trying to climb higher and accomplish, you know, something else once I've accomplished what, what I set out to accomplish initially. Um, and I would just tell this girl to be patient, be patient. But she would tell me, she would tell the adult me right now, she would say, Hannah, enjoy the moment. You know, she would say, it's okay to enjoy what you, you've accomplished. It's okay to enjoy your success, you know, um, before you move on to something else. It's okay to be happy in the moment. You don't have to... Um, always be doing something or accomplishing something in order to be happy. It's okay to just take a moment to think about all that you've accomplished and think about where you are and how far you come and just be happy and just be satisfied in the moment. So that's what she would tell me. Um, this girl would also tell me that she's very sad. Um, she grew up being teased a lot and bullied for being different. Um, as you can tell, I am half Asian and I grew up in the South, so it was very weird if you didn't look like everyone else. Um, and I got teased a lot and it hurt. I was really sad. I was really lonely and, um, I think that always made me really anxious to have friends. I'm a social butterfly by nature, and so to be alone and to be, you know, made fun of um, was very hard on me. I think it, it was very hard, and so she would just tell me that she's sad, and I would tell her that, you know what, everything that you've gone through, all the tough times that you went through, it's... It's for a better, higher purpose. You know, it's made you a better person. And you understand real pain. You understand real loneliness. And um, it's going to just make you a kinder person and be able to um, understand other people and other people's struggles. So I really enjoyed this exercise. This is quite um, introspective. And I think... I think everyone should try it. So, um, I'm just going to sign off for the night. And I hope y'all come visit me in Atlanta. And until next time.